Hi, this is Dave Guberlein. It's January 25th, 2021, and this is the uh, training session for the University of Minnesota Japanese Karate Club, except it's in between sessions, so it's just home training, and uh, thank you all for coming, and uh, please train along if you're watching the video. All right? Very good. Pick up one foot, <clears throat> go around with your ankle and toes, switch other way. Other foot, other way, <coughs> feet together on your knees, other way, feet apart, run with your hips, other way, use your legs, pump your arms around. Switch. Cross. Twist. <coughs> and kick up your heels. Squatting. Put your hands on the floor. Straighten your legs. Squat. Straighten. Squat. Straighten. Squat. Straighten. And squat. Keep it up. Feet apart. Stretching down and forward. Back. Forward. Back, forward, back, reach over one shoulder, switch, side, switch, around, switch, Turn to your right or whichever way you want. Switch other way. Switch other way. Stretching deeper. While your foot, drop your hip. Reach up. Open the arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Twist, look over your outside shoulder. Touch your head to the floor by your front foot. And straighten your leg. Stretch down. Switch, other way, stretching deep. Follow your foot, drop your hip, reach up. Open the arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Twist, look over your left shoulder. Touch your head to the floor by your front foot. Straighten your leg. And stretch down. Drop to the inside. Switch, 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 and switch. Rotate all the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh. Breathe deep. Back. Over. Back. Over, back, over, and back. Switch over the other side. All the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh. Back. 
Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. Over. And back. Pull your feet in, squatting. Put your legs out behind it. Arch. <sighs> Push your hips back. Touch your chest to the floor. Stretch your shoulders, your neck, your back. <clears throat> Forward again. <sighs> Pull your feet in. Squatting. Straighten your legs and stretch down. Roll up. Front of your hip. Switch. Side side. Squeeze one knee up into your chest. Switch. 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 And switch. Reach around behind. Grab an ankle. Switch. Switch. And switch. Shake it out. Turn certain uniforms. Warm me up just a little bit first. Feet together. Now, left arm, left leg forward. Again, but I. Eight. Counter punch out. Two, one count, two punches. Head, stomach. One, head, stomach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands, switch feet, other side. Counter punch out. Nice, straight, tall posture. Twist your hip. One. Oops, sorry. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I have it. Oh yeah, shake it out a little bit. Uh, back up so we have a little bit of room. What? Yeah, that's too bad. All right, left leg forward, fighting position is fine. Front snap kick. One, two, three. Back leg over and turn. One, two, three. Turn. One, two, three. Turn. One. Two, three, turn it up, first. So, uh, last time, one, one day, Friday, <laughs> I don't know what day it is ever anymore. Uh, we did some drills that we have not done in a long time. It reminded me of many other drills we have not done in a long time. So today, we're gonna to spend a lot of time on the five count drill, which cleverly has its name, because there's five counts. And uh, I designed it, as far as I know, and it is simple and repetitive, and it should teach you many, many things. I taught it for myself to train uh, consistency. So, this is how it works. Uh, left leg forward, counter punch out. 
On the first count, you're going to rotate and jab for the face. One. On the second count, you're going to counter punch body. Two. On the third count, you're going to pull your feet together and punch. Three. Continue forward. Four. Five. Yes, that's five counts. We're going to do it again. One. Two. Three. Feet together. Four. Five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, right, back. You can shake out your legs a little bit. I'm going to try to make it so we can do three reps before we have to reset. <clears throat> This particular drill works much better if we can do eight or 10 reps <laughs> instead of three or two. Uh, so after we kind of get in the groove, we'll just turn and keep going away from the camera each time. If you're a sharp group, I'm sure you'll figure it out. So to start out with, of course, I always want you to use your legs. But in this particular case, now I want you to imagine your center is throwing the energy at the target. So it's going to be throw, 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 throw. Where they all have that energy from your legs going out towards the target. Try to get that. Left leg forward, counter punch out. One, throw, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Good job, everybody. Walk back. Try it again. I will say also at this stage, try to get some consistency so your body is straight and tall. You're not moving your shoulders around, you're not hunching, everything's nice and straight. It's a very simple drill, not anything complex. So try to fix your form as you're imagining throwing energy away from your, your body. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, back. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. One. Whoops, was it too many? Two, three, four, five. And back. In addition to imagine that your center is throwing energy towards the target, I want you to keep doing that. See if you can also understand that you're moving from underneath here, under your hips, under your legs. So some of you probably start out okay, and then on three, you come over the top a little bit, and your butt is out. This should be underneath, because you're working from under here. And then when you do your next one, it's, it's level and straight, and, Life is good. So think underneath your hip, down here, underneath your butt cheek, is where you're moving from, and still throw the energy from your center forward. <clears throat> here we go. Question, Rachel, doing okay? Yeah, sorry, technical difficulties. It's okay. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two.
two, three, four, five. Hi, right, back. Good job, everybody. Now I want to start to talk about your drawing arm. You are still going to throw the energy from your center forward. You are still going to move from underneath your hip using your legs. But pay attention to your drawing arm. I want it to pull all the way through your system to your back leg. So this is going to be pull, pull, pull. This ends and this ends at the same time. Pull, pull. Okay, so more drawing arm concentration. Pull it through your center, all the way to your back leg, and all the way to the floor. Left leg forward, counter punch out. Pull down to the ground. We're going to take more time. One, pull down so you feel the weight on your back foot. Two, pull down. Three, pull down and squeeze. Four, five. One, two, pull. Three, pull. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, right, back. Good job. Do it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back. Can you be here for a second? Face that way. If you were here, you would get this benefit of me hitting you. It's, it's, it's a throw. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be pulling together here in your center, and some people push here to try to get your body to come together, or I like to push here because these parts come together. So some people are very together here, and you jab, and it goes away, and it's all soft and swooshy. You're supposed to squeeze just the same. Uh, start over. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. And if you concentrate on just that part of the squeezing, it seems to make a lot of things easier. You tr you're not as tense. It, it moves through the joints better. I, I find that when I do it to me. I know I have done it to you, Fung and Sam. Maybe Rachel, I don't remember. So it, it is one of the things that you can't do as good without partners, without people pushing on you, pulling on you. But anyway, pretend that this is compressing, compressing, compressing on each move exactly the same. So again, what sometimes happens is good, not as good, not good at all, and then you forget where you were going. You, uh, so consistency in your body, pull together, pull together, pull together, pull together, pull together. All five are the same squeeze. It doesn't matter if you're twisted or straight or if your feet are together or not. So let's try that. Left leg forward, counter punch out. One, two, Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, right, back. Good job. <coughs> Again. Left leg forward, counter punch out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn, counter punch out. One, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn, counter punch out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, walk back. That was good. Here's the next part. Sometimes, so the first section of this drill is definitely your hands and feet match. Match, match. When this hits, this plants. Match, match, match. They're the same all the time. But in the real world, or just for your own uh, uh, adaptability, you want to be able to sometimes hit when you're not planted, when you're in between techniques, maybe sooner, maybe later. So a simple thing you can do right now is you're not going to plant your foot in the middle. So my right foot here, you go one, two, three, my heel is up, but I still squeeze just the same, four, Five. Okay? It's the only change. If your whole technique falls apart, then drop your heel again until your body starts to squeeze again. So, and eventually, after we do this a few times back and forth, your foot's not going to stop. So you don't have to go one, two, three, four, five. Your foot will keep moving throughout the technique. So you go one, two, three, four, uh, it just moves whenever the punch is there, it punches. So your heads and feet don't have to match. I know, a radical new thing, but here we go. This time on three, leave your heel up. Counter punch out. One, two, three, heel up, heel up, heel up, still squeeze together. Four, five, one, two, three, heel up. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Hi, right, walk back. Sam, you're doing a great job all the way through. I know you've been away a while. You're you're moving very well. Sometimes you get uh, wiggly, and not today. Today you look good and solid. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that it? Hey, turn. Just turn. Hey, you. Turn. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. Counter punch out. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Hi, right, very nice. Walk back. Okay. Just at that speed, nice and easy, you're going to do all five actions with one count. So I will count, and then like a metronome, you want to try to move and you want all the techniques to feel the same. Again, you don't want to feel light on one and heavy on the other one and lost on the middle. They're all the same. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. 
Left leg forward, counter punch out. All five techniques, nice and easy. One, head, stomach. E, ba, two, ba, ba, sa, ba, ba, three, ba, ba, sa, ba, ba. Turn, counter punch out. One, ba, ba, sa, ba, ba, two, Try to go a little quicker. Not a lot quicker, but a little quicker. Ready? One, pom, 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 pom. Two, pom, 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 pom. Three, pom, 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 pom. Turn, counter punch out. One, pom, 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 pom. Two, Three. Turn. Anyway, we're going to try to go as quickly as you can. Kiai, whatever you feel like it. Ready? Hey, go back. Try it again. Relax your shoulders, move from the ground. Ready? Hey, good job. Show you all your legs. Questions, problems? Get a drink if you want. doesn't have a name or a number because sometimes it has more consonant and sometimes less, but it's the same drill. Um, on one, you're going to do three punches in place like this. You're going to go one, head, stomach, head. On two, you're going to do a front kick with your front leg, but you're going to do it by increasing the pressure down and forward as you kick and then counter punch. That's only two. And then three, put in the front snap kick counter punch. And then you start over. You'll love it. Here we go. Left leg forward counter punch out. Three punches. Ready? One. Head, stomach, head. Pull your drawing arm. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Down into your back leg. Front kick with your front leg counter punch. Two. Kick, punch. Now kick with your back leg, three, kick, punch. Now three punches, one, wrap down in your back leg, deal, three, kick, punch. One more time. I guess everybody back up, everybody did. <laughs> Maybe this is a little <clears throat> longer technique than the other one. Here we go. Three punches. One. Head. Stomach. Head. Two. Front kick. Counter punch. Three. Front kick. Counter punch. One. Two. Three. And we're back. One. Two, three, one, two, three, and we're back. One, two, three. 
three. One, two, three. All right, wait, stand up for a second. So, most of you are doing this very well. Throughout these techniques, you're going from big to small and from wide to narrow. So wherever you are out here, you're going in towards the center like all the time. You're going to use your arms, the insides of your arms, the insides of your legs to make that consistent. So you're going center, 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 still center, center, still the same one, center, center, and try to flow along that line. Try not to deviate even a little. Try to get yourself in there as much as possible. I have found the scooping idea helps when you wind your arm in and it matches your inner thigh. So on this particular action, squeeze, 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 go, boom. Now this one squeezes, one, two, and it'll help keep you in line. You know what I'm talking about? Yay, left leg forward, trying to punch out. <clears throat> three punches, aim for center all three times. One, center, center, center. Kick center, two, kick punch center, three, center, center, one, center, 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 two, three, not bad at all. Hi, back up, counter punch out. That same idea. One, center, center, center. Two, center. Three. One. Two. Three. Yep, good job. So on the kick, the front leg kick, uh, down kind of low, just like that. So it's good. After this jab, you're going to drop your hip, and it is okay if you feel like your head goes back a little bit for kind of a counterbalance, especially while you're learning. So, might be a little teeter tottery this way when that foot goes. But make sure whatever rock you get out of this, the ultimate result is rocking forward and not rocking back even just a little. So not back this way, you won't hit the target. It's down this way and the target's there easily. So a little hard again without a target or without somebody standing there pointing at you saying, no, you're not getting that uh, because it's very subtle sometimes. It looks almost the same, but it won't feel the same to me. There's a scoop, scoop, scoop underneath and not a rock where I'm up and back. They're, they're two different things, but they look almost the same in a picture or on video. Anyway, here we go. Two more times this way, ready? One, head, stomach, head, two, kick, punch, kick, punch, whoops. In my mind, three. In my mind, I was moving on to the next part. Did you do the whole thing? I did. One, head, two, three. And go back. Try all the actions in one count and see how it goes, and then we're gonna change something so it'll feel different. At this point, just like on this five count drill where everything had to feel the same, that's part of this drill. Down, 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 down. Let it flow forward as you move 
not up and down and not side to side. Here we go, counter punch out. One, stomach, head, kick, on, kick, punch. Two, head, stomach, head, kick, punch, kick, punch. And back. It's looking good, you guys. <clears throat> One. Ew. Back. Something to work on for a different day is the way we started, which I said, imagine your center is throwing the energy at the target all the way through. That's true here. And eventually, it won't matter if you're kicking or punching. So I'm going to throw energy at the target, and it happens to be my arm. I'm going to throw energy at the target, and it happens to be my foot. But it's the same. I don't even have to necessarily decide ahead of time. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever it is, just keeps going, pop, and it adapts to what I need next, a block or a back fist or a different kick. If you just get the idea that your center is throwing it, it's originating there, it helps keep you down, keep you calm, it'll help it flow. Try that just a little bit. Left leg forward, counter punch out. See if it'll flow from your center. One, center, 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 kick, center, center, center. Two. What? Three. Oh, sorry, not a three. Go back. I keep forgetting some of you don't have room for three. counts. The first one is the three punches again. I would skip that, but you'd get confused. So here, counter punch out. Three punches. One, head, stomach, head. On two, you're going to front kick and hold the recoil. Two, squeeze. Three, punch, kick, punch. There you go. Do it again. Ready? One, head, stomach, head. Two, hold. Hey, pa, pa, pa. Hey, go back. One head, stomach, head. Two, hold. Hey, pa, pa, pa. Again. One head, stomach, head. Two, hold. Pressure down, 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 down. Hey, pa, pa, pa. Oh, you have to remember the combination, people. <laughs> Here we go again. <clears throat> Maybe we just haven't done it enough to get into your brain. Maybe. So we'll try a few more. On that hold, on that recoil, I want you to keep building, 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 building. Sensei Nishama used to call it potential energy. You're about to explode into the target. Winding, 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 go! And then you're going to let it go and continue that drive <coughs> through the next three <coughs> techniques. The punch, the kick, and the punch. Here we go. Here we go again. Yeah. One, pa, pa, pa. Two, hold, 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 hold. Three, pa, pa, pa. One, pa, pa, pa. Two, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Three, pa, pa. Almost again. Back. One. Two. Three. Oh, oh. One. Two. Three. Back. All right, one count, all the actions. Try to feel both things. Try to feel that smoothness that glides across the floor. 
and try to feel the dynamic of each technique as you need to or want to. Ready? One, head, stomach, head, kick, punch, punch. Uh, two, head, kick. Back, do it again. One. Two, head, stomach, head. Kick, punch, kick, punch. There you go, back. The advantage of being able to do like 10 in a row is your brain gets into a kind of zen, repeat, 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 and that's kind of true of all training, but in like this combination and the five count, it seems to kind of feed and reinforce itself, which is what I wanted it to do. And when you only get to do two repetitions, your brain takes a break for a second and doesn't click right back in. So, here we go. One. Two. Turn. One. Two. Turn. One. Two. Hey, walk back. <coughs> so see how we did a few with just a turn and then we continued? Uh, it got a little different in your in your head in the pattern. Mm -hmm. Try to do the same thing now. We're just gonna go a little quicker, right? So speed as quick as you can go and still maintain your body integrity. Ready? I'll just wait patiently. That was good. Call it time. Keep it there. Face that way. Hand shot on. I'm a mirror. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right, rest. Hand going down again. Out. Move over this way just a little bit. Yep. Boy. One. Uh, Maria, bend your left elbow just a little bit more. Yep. Tio. Uh, Malia, pick your, and James, pick your right arm much higher. Yep, James much higher, yep. Three, in, out. You found more space. Four. Make sure you get into your good back stances, Rachel. One, two, One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, Maria, pull your hand back and you shouldn't be wearing a watch. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, back stance, you fun. You fun. More, 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 more. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, last move. Hi, anyway. Hi, Russ. So, uh, everybody, but Rachel, especially right at the beginning, make sure that you really hit your back stance. So just a little bit, it feels like your knee is caving, just a little. And then, um, On these turns, I saw this on a lot of people, mostly you're just going to feel like you're dropping and putting your foot up. There's not a forward part to your, because that wrecks your stance. So, uh, you come around here and then you drop into a good back stance, good position. <clears throat> the other place where this is constantly a problem for people is uh, switching from this to this and because you're forward here oh well, not good camera because you're forward in a front stance it's pretty darn easy to end up way too far in your back stance here and what helped me is I figured out that somebody's attacking and this is a block can you go over there maybe do a step and punch so here he comes oh my god whoa I gotta get out of the way and that puts me in my back stance. And then I can do the next thing. Boom. So he wouldn't really step and punch. He'd be closer. And he'd be throwing a punch. And I'm shifting from here to, oops, there. Getting me in my back stance again. And then immediately finish forward into the next action. <clears throat> yep. Uh, so that was pretty much the totality of that. Is everybody pay more attention to your back stances? And it's not just good enough to stand this way. You have to make the pressure down and out, especially against here. So let's give it another try. Out, 
En doe dan. Mooi. One. Look. Go. Two. Look. Go. Uh, you try and reach it, but now your hips out too far. So you got to be um, lean your head and shoulders back a little bit towards your back. Yep, yep, a little bit. That's better. One. Uh, Maria, uh, stack your hips on your, stack your hands on your right hip and then twist your hip. You went like this, which some places do, but we don't. One, two, yep. And then not like this, like this. One, back stance, everybody. Side snap, elbow. One, two. One, two. Other side. One, two. Three, four. One, turn. Now drop down into your back leg. Two. You fall, you have to push against your legs, both of them. So there's strength. Push. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Now you're going to pull back into your back stance just a little bit as you block. One, back. Two, three, now big switch forward. Four, five, six. Turn sideways a little bit, Maria. Seven. Anyway, good job, everybody. So most improved had to be this block I was telling you about here, everybody switched into a good back stance. Again, you can't see it on the camera. Everybody went from here to here. That was, that was nice. Um, <clears throat> two things to pick on more for uh, uh, James and Malia. If you're going to step out into any given stance, a back stance in particular right now, you have to increase the pressure down and we did this before. Let me go over here for a second. If he had his hand on my hip here, you gotta move your foot. No. Yeah. And I was gonna go this way a little harder. And I'm weak. As soon as I move, I, I don't have any pressure to push with. So I have to push down to make this easy. There's nothing to it, whatever I'm doing. This is an easy structure. And uh I don't know why it took me a long, long time to figure that out. I mean, even though people told me and it was indirect pressure and, oh, it's so stable. I never felt like it. I felt like, why am I standing like this? this is the stupidest thing ever. Uh, but it turns out the relationship from your center to your legs makes a big difference. So embrace that, everybody, for your back stance. Just try to make it heavier, thicker, more stable. All right, uh, next thing. Let's try... I was going to do Basai Dai. Anybody want something before Basai Dai? Great, Basai Dai. <coughs> I do. John's going to do it the right way from the camera. So you're not facing straight that way, you're facing towards that corner kind of so the yeah. camera's behind it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go this way uh, for perspective. Well, watch it out. Watch it out, boy. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, 
three, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. I am first. I'm going to try it again. I'm mostly going to watch. Out. What's it at? What's it at? Wait. Wait until you're frozen. Maria, feet together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Other hand, Maria. Just block with you. Yep. Whoops. Yep. One, two, three. One, two. A little more, Sam. A little more reach. One, two. Turn your hip more. You fun. Put your elbow in just a little bit more. One, two. One. Uh, you fun. Your your front foot has to turn a little. Yep. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, one more, you fun. Take a step. One, two, three, four. One step. Two. One. Stop. Two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two. Three, one, two, big turn, one, two, one, two, three, Iris, you ready? All right, a couple things. That I can remember, I want to talk about this action. There is the idea that you're moving straight from your center out that way. And there is the idea that you're covering kind of a block, circular block. So, and some people teach, uh, if you're throwing a punch, that I'm stopping his shoulder, that's my move, which works 30 to 40% of the time. The whole rest of the time, this guy's just going to hit you in the head. So that's not a good primary application. But uh, what I want to say about this path is it's both of those things. It's got a curve and it's got an extension out. So let's say he was punching at me here. My hand would cover my head 
as it went over the thing. So I'm not, just leave it there. I'm not going straight out this way. Just a little bit of curve. Just, just a little bit. And it's not any different, put your hand there again, than the curve I want you to have in your back fist strike or this draw. It's just, just a little bit. Uh, so it took me a long time to figure that out that they're not all equally good. <clears throat> there are some movements that are superior, so you should practice them that way. And then they're also adaptable. You can use them for blocking, striking, lots of stuff. Um, uh, this uh, kick, uh, you have a space here in your arms, James and Malia. Your knee comes up in here. And then you stomp down. Boom, boom. So it's a bigger action than whatever. You get way up there. It looks like it bounces off your chest and then stomps down on somebody's leg. Yeah, we'll work on it another day, but that's the idea. Um, everybody, one, two, three. Your hands do not drop here before they come up. They up. And the most common thing is somebody's reaching for you, and as they reach, here again, you're kind of intercept and pick their hands up. So, dropping them, and then it, it makes it too late to work. In reality, uh, this section of the kata, I think, was uh, dumbed down. It was made to be more safe. <clears throat> and in this exact action, instead of coming backwards, if you step forwards, it works way better. Drill his head. Uh, your knuckles fit right here on the side of his jaw. Both of them snap his head back like that. So this would snap his head back. That comes into his groin. Then you'd hit liver and spleen at the same time. Then you'd punch center. Long explanation. But in, 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 in is better than whatever else they tell you you're doing. So... Um, oh, James and Malia again, and everybody could know this, but everybody did it pretty good. Uh, on this turn, this arm belongs way up high, and as your body moves, your arm moves with it, and then when you come around, your wrist and fist is supposed to be lower than your elbow. So I know, because people think it's some kind of block, you see people do this all the time, uh, which is kind of at the beginning uh, the kata, but this is a slightly different thing and uh, Many of the JKA masters are big on it. They get upset if your if your wrist is lower than your elbow or not lower than your elbow, so uh, The explanation they always had can you keep me a little bit well with this one is that you're catching and boom, and throwing that over there Which puts your hand just like that? I do not happen to think that's a very good application. I think it's stupid, but that hand motion is still legit, and it's good for other stuff too. I think that's it for now. Uh, questions, problems? No? You all did great. Rachel joined us like two or three times. It was incredible. <laughs> so thank you all. Uh, see you. What is it? Monday. See you Wednesday. Class dismissed.